Okay guys, so today I will share with you my secret. Enjoy this video! Hi everyone! Welcome back! This is Lovelin again. Did you see my shirt? Look at that! It says Lovelin's Love. So Lovelin's Love is official. And mostly I talk about orchids because I love my orchids. So anyway, today I will share with you guys how to make a banana tea. It's simple, but my orchids love them. I use them to soak uh, for my dehydrated orchids or sickly ones. They love it. So before I water them, so if I water them like in the weekend, so Friday, I make the banana tea. It's 24 hours to soak the banana peel. So 24 hours and then when it's ready, I, I mix it with another half gallon and then I soak my orchids for 24 hours before I water them. Sometimes 30 minutes. I soak the 30 minutes for my um, see my water culture and the full water culture because I think it's sensitive in the roots. I'm, I'm worried. But anyway, that's the thing I do. For the media, I soak them for 24 hours and they're fine. And then the next day, I need to rinse them. So that's a watering day for the next day because if you don't rinse them, that the smell of sourness, you know, because of the banana. So I don't like that smell and it attracts the nuts. You know, the little fly nuts. So I don't like that one. So anyway, but be careful because you can't use these banana tea to some house plant. I got house plant that don't like it at all and the leaves fall off. So I don't recommend banana tea to the house plant because not all house plant loves banana tea. But I recommend it to the orchids. My orchids love them. And then I know roses, if you love roses, roses love banana. A Bruel banana, um, banana skin, and then crumple them and sprinkle around my rose, uh, rose beds or the rose plant. And they love it healthy leaves, uh, big flowers. So I did not know um, the banana tea, but I've been try I've been doing it for a month now, and my orchids, they're all over the house, so you can see them all. I got some of them there and here, but um, they love banana tea. So it's simple. I try not to do a chemical really, but um, I think there's a time that you need to, but not too much, but I love the banana tea. For me, it's working. So I'll show you guys how I make them, okay? Okay, so we cut the banana into small pieces that will fit in our gallon of water. So we just gonna put it one by one. So we just put it one by one in the water until all of them goes in, okay? I'll show you when we're finished. All right, guys. So, my banana, all of them, the two banana peel, are already inside the gallon of water. So, if you're worried that they just sit like that around um, the top, don't worry about it. Make sure it's tight and just turn it upside down and it should be fine. So, leave this water in a room temperature for 24 hours and then when it's ready tomorrow evening we will put it to some of my uh, orchids well the media mostly and soak them for 24 hours and then on saturday will be the watering day or fertilizer day guys okay, so after 24 hours this is my banana tea. Look at the banana chunk that we put um, yesterday. It's so um, it's in the bottom of the gallon now, and it did turn brown. So what am I gonna do with that? We used two banana skin or peel yesterday, so I don't want it too concentrated. So I'm gonna pour half of it and then mix it with um, 
one gallon of water. So I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna use half here and then uh, fill this with another um, half a gallon of water. Because I don't want it too concentrated. Because if too concentrated, I think it's too much. And I don't want to kill my orchids instead. Now what I did, I used the panel. I used this gallon, just reuse it or recycle it. And then this is the original gallon uh, for the banana tea. Then I just half and half. Then I'm gonna use the panel so I don't wanna spill. And then fill it with water equal to two gallons. All right guys, so my banana tea is mixed with um, water now. So supposed to be one gallon of water, two pills of banana, and now it become two gallons. But if you want it more, uh, not too concentrated, you can add another water. But for me, this is fine for, I'm soaking one, two, three, four, five orchids today. So we're gonna do this one here. My, my uh, dendrobium from, um, I see orchids, so I'm just gonna fill it with my banana tea. There you go. So she is good. Soak it for 24 hours. We'll leave it alone. Make sure that soak really good and her too. I just pour there my banana tea and then I just do like that the rest of it we'll do this one too hold them with my banana tea and let it sit for 24 hours so on Saturday we need to rinse them so that's the one there and we'll do the same for her the last day so and then the rest of the of the my banana tea I soak it to my other orchids so I just show you guys five two of, oh yeah five orchids here but the one they're in other place so I'm gonna fill them with my all right guys so that's my banana tea it's very easy and simple so if you like this video please subscribe below click that subscribe button and then click the bell so you get notified when i upload my video and you don't miss anything okay so see um if you have any comments any suggestion or any idea or any question i love to hear from you guys so please write it down below i check my youtube channel if any comments i check them so please say, say something so i know that something somebody's watching my um my videos so anyway well thank you for your time thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video oh wait next uh, weekend well this coming weekend is my fertilizing day so i'm gonna show you guys how i fertilize my media and my full water culture so follow that video okay all right guys again thank you for your time and thank you for watching god bless bye